Good morning. My wife's Christmas tradition was very different from mine. In my family, we put up the Christmas tree at the beginning of December. It was an artificial tree, about 1.7 meters high. We had to decorate the tree with ornaments and tinsel and put a star or an angel figure on the top and then wrap small electric lights round the tree. My wife's tradition was German. The tree was decorated on the evening of Christmas Eve, sometimes late into the evening. And the tree was real, not artificial. It was about two meters high. Ornaments were carefully placed on branches but there was no tinsel. Instead, thin strips of aluminum, called lametta, were hung along each branch and twig. This took several hours. Only after the lametta was hung were the lights affixed. These were not electric lights on a reel of wire. These were candles real candles, scented candles, in small candle holders which clipped to the branches. And when they were all attached, the room lights were dimmed, the candles were lit, and we sang Silent Night in its original language of German. Looking back on those special Christmas Eve tree decorating evenings and remembering the twinkling of the tree and the lametta in the candlelight, I wonder what kind of light Mary and Joseph had when Jesus was born. Luke 2 verses 6 to 7 say, While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Oh, we know that Mary and Joseph were most likely in the open basement of a family home. On a second level, overlooking the open basement, the family would eat and sleep in the open basement, animals would be kept. Goats, sheep, lambs. A feeding trough would be available filled with hay. The floor would be dirt. And though a star indicated to the wise men where to find Jesus, most light from the moon wouldn't have penetrated into the house. The only light would have been from small clay oil lamps. When we celebrated Christmas with my wife's family and finally lit the candles on the tree, we always made sure there was a bucket of water nearby, just in case. I wonder if similar precautions were taken for Mary, Joseph and Jesus. I wonder about the safety of oil lamps near dry hay in a manger as the baby is born. And then I remember that Jesus entered our world in complete vulnerability. He wasn't born in his parents' home in Nazareth. He wasn't born under the watchful eyes of midwives. He wasn't born in a clean environment. He wasn't born in a safe place. This is what it meant for him to save you and me and to be one of us. And it would be the same at his death. Naked, he came into the world and 30 years later, naked, he was strung up on a cross, bleeding, to take my sin. Jesus let go of all privileges because he loves you and me.
today we have LED lights on our tree. Safe, convenient, controllable, colourful. But I also light a candle, or as we now have, a small clay oil lamp. As you see Christmas lights this season, remember how, as John chapter 1 verse 9 says, the true light that gives light to everyone came into the world. Jesus came in complete vulnerability and he died in complete vulnerability because you and I are worth it. Thanks be to God. Let's pray. O Lord God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, we are truly humbled when we think of the cost for Christ to come. Born in a stranger's basement, born with hay as a pillow, born only with dangerous naked flames around him to light the occasion. And yet, Lord, you came because we were worth it, because you loved us, because you wanted us to be with you, because you wanted to forgive us our sin and restore us into relationship with yourself. Lord, we are humbled and we are grateful. This Advent, Lord, help us to grasp once again, and perhaps more deeply, the extent of your love for us. And Lord, lift our eyes and our hearts and our voices in worship to you, for Christ has come. We praise you this day in the name of Jesus. Amen. As you put lights maybe around your home, on a Christmas tree, on a table, or as you see lights, Christmas lights in the city or in the church building, consider Christ came for you and me. He came lit only by a small wick on an oil lamp, but he came into this dark world to give us life and praise him for this. Thank you for joining us for this devotion. The Lord be with you.